that that purple laser hit me pretty good, man. I mean, it wrapped around around me first, and then it hit me hard. I mean, wow! Like in that fucking wow. <laughs> Let me start over. <laughs> <laughs> It's time for another vertically challenged episode of the Hardcast. I'm your host Chris, and today I'm joined by Victor. Vertically challenged? Isn't that what you said for the other rating review? No, I said Matt, like old school something something. Oh, okay. <laughs> and uh, Patrick. Quan Su, dude. Tonight's review slash discussion is about the latest installment in the Raiden series, Raiden 4, available in North America exclusively on the Xbox 360, developed by Moss and published by UFO Interactive. So, Victor, did Raiden 4 manage to whip your massive purple laser across the entirety of the screen? Or were you left playing with your fairy balls all alone? <laughs> fairy balls, okay. <laughs> Having played Raiden 3, man, it left me in like a cliffhanger, man. I've been trying to dance to know what happens in Raiden 4, man. And, and, uh, I know, Raiden... it's all about that incredible epic saga, that story. Yes. It's all about, you know, Saga Mafaga, you know? <laughs> yes. <laughs> this game came out in our case in 07, and it came out on 360 in Japan in 08, so we finally have it here in America. I mean, freaking A, it took them long enough to come out, but we it finally have it. It's been so long, because they had to translate all that Japanese from the cutscenes, you know? Yes. <laughs> from all that story. Because, you know, it's like, this is like an epic storyline, so. But hey, it's worth it. I mean, we got like a shitload of new modes, a shitload of new features downloadable content the first thing you notice when you pop the game in is, is the graphics you, you know you see the improvement from like the last game it's definitely like a step up in graphics oh yeah definitely the gameplay stays the same you got all your traditional weapons the vulcan which is the spread shots yeah laser. laser yeah yeah the laser just shoots for the blue laser and then we got the best one the purple the plasma like, laser yeah yeah the plasma laser the toothpaste looking thing <laughs> Yeah, no, ging- no gingivitis with that. Yeah. <laughs> Patrick, what was your first uh, first thoughts when you played this game? I thought the graphics were awesome. They were really good, but not like amazing. They didn't wow me or anything. But they were really actually well, they a were, vertical shooter. It's one of, pretty much the nicest vertical shooter. I, I mean, first it, graphics. I uh, sometimes when I first saw Ikaruga, I was really like, like whoa. <laughs> But, you know, the, the graphics are so good, I guess, that they actually slow down the Xbox 360. That one scene with the space Yeah, there, there is some slowdown, yeah. So I was surprised at that. Oh, yeah, that was... That was... Uh, yeah, that was a down point. Uh, beyond that, the uh, ferry is the best best uh, ship. That's it. That's all I got to say. Ferry. ferry. But the problem Hell is you yeah, have man. to download the ferry. I mean, it's not, it's only like a dollar, but... It's, yeah, it's 80 points, but it's worth it. It's the best dollar you'll ever spend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. You, I'll buy that for a dollar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, the fairy is my favorite, and uh, I guess that's it. yeah. And the, with the bubbles, the purple pearl. I think that should platform. be your your intro from now on. Yeah, the fairy is my favorite. <laughs> Hello, fairies. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, want to play with my fairy bubbles? <laughs> beyond that, it's like uh, I really don't know what else to say. It's fun. <laughs> wow. it's, a, it's a fun game. Yeah, it's so just thank is. You for joining us. Let me just say something about the fairies. I mean. The fairy is fucking awesome. Let me just say, first of all, this fairy is naked. Like, you see her picture, the only thing covering her body is her hair, which is awesome. She's like uh, <laughs> like a precursor to Bayonetta. Yes. <laughs> Bayonetta got, got her idea from her, from this fairy. Right Bayonetta still doesn't have bubbles. Right, she bubbles. still doesn't shoot bubbles. <laughs> so, yeah, if you're playing this game and you're playing with the fairy, definitely try to get the purple, the purple pickup, man. That's the bubbles right there. That's the best shit. The arrows are powerful and whatever and good, but nothing well, Pat- beats the Patrick, bubbles. talk about the other, like the feathers and shit. Oh, yeah, the homing feathers and oh, the yeah. uh, leaves that are just basically missiles. Your missiles are basically, like, weird. I had to figure that out. We actually had to pause the game to figure out what the hell she was throwing. <laughs> yeah. And, it was just like, and I was like, feathers? <laughs> <laughs> but see, that's how good the graphics are, that you're able to actually tell what that, that little squiggle on the screen is. Like, oh, that's a feather. <laughs> Yeah, and instead of shooting missiles, she shoots uh, like pretty sparkly flowers. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, and yeah, the bomb. The bomb is like, oh yeah, 
the fairy's bomb is just like sparkles all over the screen. It's like, wow. <laughs> and it's really powerful, actually. I think She's about- like, I have bedazzled you. <laughs> <laughs> and don't get turned off by the f- by how fruity this sounds, people. I mean, it really is awesome. The fairy is the best. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the hard cast recommends the fairy. <laughs> Our mascot, the fairy. The other the other ships are pretty cool, though. I mean, you're, they're, they're your standard raiding ships. The other ship is yeah, the, the MK2 or whatever. Right. Uh, it's from the previous game. Uh, so you get a lot of the. You don't have all the same weapons as the first. The first ship, the the default ship, you have uh, another weapon called the. Uh, I think it's the proton laser, which is the three narrow purple beams that spread all across the screen. I didn't get to have that much experience with that because we were too busy messing around with the ferry and the other ship. Mm-hmm. That that one. I mean, all the ships are cool and they're fun, and I do recommend you downloading at least the ferry just to try it out because it's fun. And once you upgrade the bubble attack, that shit spreads all over the screen and just annihilates everybody. Other than that, I would say that the the music is a lot better than Raiden Fighters Ace's oh, yeah, the music. consistency. Yeah, so it's got that really solid techno, you know, fast paced techno music um, that the Japanese are pretty good at when they it's want. Still, to. still not gonna be like great quality. You know, it still sounds like nah, it's still arcade style. Yeah. Miles, yeah, you know, it's but, like I mean, traditional. It wouldn't be Raiden if it was like really high quality. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but for the Raiden series, I would say that this has a, probably the best soundtrack. Even though you hear a lot of the same sound effects, a lot of the same music uh, cues and things like that. And I want to mention, too, that the game, if you buy it now for a limited time, you do get the soundtrack. And the soundtrack has 27 tracks on it and a lot of remixes on there and songs from the arcade version, songs from the Xbox version. And for a you know, video game soundtrack, you know, for this kind of arcade-style game, it actually sounds really good. I mean, I do recommend if you are interested in this game at all, go out and get it like as soon as possible before they stop packaging it with the uh, with the limited edition soundtrack because it is worth having if you're a Raiden fan. That, that's one thing to keep in mind when if you're looking at this game at all. But um, as far as what would you compare the differences between Raiden Fighter Aces and and Raiden Four, Victor? Besides the graphics, uh, there's like a bunch of different modes on Raiden Four now. You not only have the arcade mode, which is you know the traditional ones you play in the arcade. You also have this uh, Xbox 360 mode, which has like a couple extra levels, and you can like change a lot more things about it. Apparently, there's a double mode where one player controls both ships, which I don't know how that works, but I guess it's pretty cool. It's with I, the analog sticks, but yeah, I guess you, each analog you, stick. You have to be crazy good to play that, I think. Yeah, <laughs> I mean now you gotta dodge two ships bullets yourself. Man, it should be pretty hard. They probably gave you more lives for something. We didn't get to try that. I would have liked to. Yeah, we forgot to try that mode out. Oh, but you, you remember the, how many different types of ships there were in Raiden Fighter Aces? Like all the different types of like speed uh, oh, yeah, yeah. defenses, and you don't really get that option in Raiden. Yeah, Fighter. that's another thing that I missed. Like when I first started playing this, like in uh in Raiden Fighter Aces, I always picked like the fastest ship. It has less defense, but you know I always liked being able to like dodge bullets pretty quick. And when I started playing this one, it felt really slow, but. That's how like all the regular ships move, and you know it felt kind of odd to me since I used always pick the uh, faster ships. It was, I mean, I got used to it. It's it's not really no big deal. Right. I mean, it's your but, standard uh, standard raiding game. Right. Then there's also a uh, boss rush mode, which we didn't get to play. But I guess it's where you fight all the bosses. Oh, you want to talk a little bit about the bosses on this one? Well, the first thing I noticed about them was, of course, because the graphics are so much better, is that they were they were very detailed. Oh yeah. As far as like, you could really look at them. You go, wow. You know, you see all the rivets and everything on the on their bodies, and then how they would, you know, one would come out of the other, and it would just extend or transform in some way, and it just it looked really nice. And then you have a lot of different types of weapons. Like in in the Raiden Fighter Aces game, it was always like you know massive tanks and trains and ships and things like airplanes and stuff like that. And you you get all that stuff too in in the Ra- in the regular Raiden games and in Raiden Four. But in this one, you get like crazy like spider robots and you get a lot more stuff in space, a lot more sci-fi stuff, fighting weird like alien ships. I guess is what they were. Remember we fought that weird diamond ship. You know, yeah, <laughs> that I mean, last boss. They go really far out there. I guess that, you know their imagination was so creative that they had to go outside the atmosphere to continue the story. <laughs> uh, and you get more of that if you play the uh, 360 mode, which is like more stages in space. Yeah. Like in arcade mode, it's only the last stage that's in space. But, in but I preferred um, um, fighting on Earth, though, because the environments yeah. were more fun to look at in space. Right. I, I don't like shooting at a bunch of meteorites coming at me, so... Yeah. got boring after a while but it's cool though I mean it's something different I guess that's really the only place the Raiden games could go they've been everywhere else already yep 
Oh, uh, like one thing I also wanted to mention is the freaking difficulty is still insane. So you guys.